Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on We Are Hotline. And the show is about people who are making positive changes in the world, conversations that matter. And we invite people from all walks of life to come and share their heart stories, a little bit of who they are that give so much to the world. And uh, we have another individual just like that on the line with us today. She's a, a fantastic author. She's a speaker. She's a coach, trainer, and holistic nutritionist. Please welcome Jane durst Polkies to the show. How are you doing today, Jane? I'm doing great, Nikki. It's great to be on your show today. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate you connecting with us. And, um, yeah, I think let's just get right to it. So okay. tell me a little bit about who you are, Jane, and, and how your journey led to where you are right now. Um, okay, so I grew up in a family of nine children, um, was fascinated by nutrition from very, very early days, was making yogurt and bread, you know, before most people were doing that. Uh, eventually went <laughs> off and studied uh, uh, nutrition, got my, got my degree in nutrition, and opened up Canada's very first health food store, uh, under a large uh, d- grocery store, which was with Dominion. And so I set up three locations in the Toronto GTA area. It was fantastic. Um, and then I wow. decided to have three children and, after my <laughs> <laughs> and three boys. So it kept me quite, quite busy. Um, and then I was looking for things to keep me busy. So I started a home uh, catering business and I was working catering for uh, – the Princess Margaret uh, Hospital, one of my friends was a brain surgeon there, so it ended up creating all kinds of opportunities for me, and then I went off and became a trainer for a company called Link to Life Seminar, so I was teaching corporate CPR training courses, and keeping my finger a little bit in the nutrition thing, but it wasn't until I turned 40 that I thought, you know what, now it's time for me, the kids are gone, I want to make a huge difference in people's lives. And mm-hmm. I had my very first live blood cell session with somebody, and I was fascinated because what she did was she took a drop of blood from my finger, put it underneath the microscope, mm-hmm. and examined what was actually going on. So I made some changes. I felt like a new person. I decided that's what I was going to do. I jumped on an airplane. I went to California. I took my course. I bought a microscope. I came home with the scope. I set up my practice. I set this. I just had a dream that this was going to be amazing. And then I went and uh, got a TV show with Breakfast Television and ended up doing Mm. 20 more shows with them, which was amazing, amazing for business. Wow. I I went back to school, and I studied holistic nutrition at the Institute of Holistic Nutrition and ended up becoming a teacher there for several years. Um, mm-hmm. did a lot of uh, corporate things. I worked for Dell Computers for many years. I was their in-house nutritionist. I ended up working in a uh, doctor's clinic. We had 12 medical practitioners there, or medical doctors and myself. That was awesome for my, my, uh, my business. Then I started to incorporate all kinds of different modalities into my practice. Um, so I do something called uh, PSC testing, which is psychosomatic energetic medicine, which basically tests the energy of the person's bodies. And as I was doing all of this, I started to really become very clearly aware that people were coming for more than just nutrition. They really wanted to feel good inside and out. And I I came to the conclusion that a lot of people's health problems were stemming from low self-esteem, lack of self-love. And so I started to research this, and I started to travel all across Canada, U.S., and read Mm -hmm. everything that I could read on it, and... One day I was in a yoga class and I heard inwardly, you have to write a book on this. So the wow. reason I, and so my book is called The Book on Confidence, How to Stand Tall on the Inside. And really why I really wrote that was, you know, growing up with eight brothers and sisters, I really did lack that confidence. And I thought and believed that it's my birthright to, to be happy and to, to, you know, go through life and, you know, achieve your dreams and have things, you know, come for you. But If we stand in our own way or we let our negative self-talk, you know, not allow us to do that, then it's not going to, then it won't happen. So I wrote half the book in Cuba, half the other book in Dominican Republic and came home and, uh, you know, worked on it for one more year, put it out there. So it's been incredible. Um, I now currently, most of my business now is with a, um, a, a product called Metabolic Balance. 
so we have in our world today so many people suffering from inf- inflammation and it's something called metabolic syndrome, which is heart disease, cardiovascular problems, diabetes, and blood lipid disorders. And this program I have, it removes the inflammation in the body, helps people lose weight, gain weight, maintain the weight, or even for an athlete. Amazing. And it's based on, mm-hmm. based, basically it's based on the fact that we all have four types of fat in the body. You have brown fat, white fat, subcutaneous, and visceral. And it's the visceral fat that's creating the havoc in our society, causing the diabetes, causing the inflammation. And we will know we have that if if we're a female and our waist is greater than 35 inches or if we're a male and our waist is greater than 40 inches. So that means there's too much visceral fat in the body, which is really creating a problem with insulin and how insulin works. So what I do for my clients today, um, and I have over 300 clients on this program right now with results are like phenomenal, is I give them a lab requisition. I'm looking, and then the lab requisition comes back to me, and then I send all their information off to Germany where their plan, their individual plan is created. So it has nothing to do with blood type. It's a plan that's generated based on their health history, medications, you know, if any organs removed like a gallbladder, what they want, and then Germany sends me back this entire program for that individual, and I become their coach for this program. And we have yes. rules for it, um, and I'm having just... I'm having such tremendous success with it. I just actually applied to get the license for Hong Kong. So I just got back mm-hmm. from Hong Kong, and I now own the license to bring Metabolic Balance there. And um, I love it. It's just, it's been, it's been, every day is a new day. Every day is a different opportunity for me. And um, right. I just love my job. It sounds like it. I can hear the passion in your voice, and um, it, it really makes a difference when you're, Pursuing passion work and yes. just it, it, there's so much fulfillment and, and people resonate with, uh, with that and they, and they want to be around you. They want to embrace whatever you have to offer the world. So mm-hmm. it, it's a beautiful thing how this all evolved. And I like especially how, um, you know, in the later years and people say, well, you peak in your early years, you know, between 20 and, and, and that time, uh, 20 and 30 or something, that, that should be the time where you've kind of accomplished everything. I like how you made it really clear that in your 40s, you know, after yeah. your family settled, that this is when you're going to start again. And I think that's an important message uh, for people to know that there's, there's always, uh, it's never too late to start again. No, you know what I mean? No. I hear people, you know, make that excuse, well, you know, I'm too old. I, I, I'll, I you know, I, I had a dream, but I'm not going to pursue it because, you know, I'm, I'm 39 or I'm 42. And that's not true. Right. And, and, uh, they, I, and I, I like think how people you settle, right? Yeah, they settle. And, they you know, I mean, the, the, the world is our oyster. And here's the neat thing. I'm going to be 59 this year. I feel like a 20-year-old. I have so much energy. I feel like I barely even started. And mm-hmm. I am excited about the future. And I'm one of these people that believe that you have to continually reinvent yourself every day and you have to continually grow and learn because that's where – that's where all the magic is, is when you start to, you know, explore. And, um, you know, the other thing for me, because I'm older, I never even, you know, I never even think about, you know, if, if you're younger, you'd be more successful. And I think you're absolutely true that, you know, the, the older you get, the more wise you become, the better you're going to become and help other people. Um, yeah, I really, truly feel like I've just scratched the surface. And yet there's just so much more out there for all of us to, to, go, to go grab. It's, it's right there for us. Absolutely, absolutely. And just out of curiosity, where did you place in the line of your brothers and sisters? Were you the oldest in the middle? I was the, the, baby? I was the, fourth, the fourth child and the second girl. Second girl. Okay, so in the middle mm-hmm. somewhere. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so how um, has your life been transformed by, by making this decision to follow through with this journey and just um, just pursue this, this passion. How, um, how have you evolved from your very beginning, your thought process of how you're going to do this? I have become the most transformation I've seen is an incredible gratitude for being of service to other people. I mm-hmm. love to watch the transformation. Their journey becomes my journey. Their, I celebrate their successes. So I have become extremely grateful for everything. I have become more energized by life. Um, 
I have become more inquisitive and curious as to, you know, what can I can I bring people? So I'm always doing these little videos that I'm posting. I'm always trying to uh, really enhance. It's allowed me to to consciously try to enhance people's lives every single day by bringing them something that can change their life. Um, it's it's really helped my family because it's brought me more joy. Um, mm-hmm. I'm just uh, I'm happier because of it, for sure, happier. And feel Absolutely. amazing because of it. Yeah, great. Tell me about um, some of the um, some of the common um, questions or the 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 patterns that people have sought after you uh, for you know your advice in the area of let's say um, the training and nutrition. What what are the common things that come up in your uh, practice with people? I need you to clarify that a little bit better for me. So the questions they're asking no, me for themselves? Yeah, yeah. so if, if people were to come and yeah. you were to meet them, let's say, uh, for nutrition advice, what, yeah. uh, in, in your experience, have you noticed as a common issue? What, what do oh, people okay. want to know? Uh, yeah. Well, people are tired. Uh, mm-hmm. People are extremely stressed. People mm-hmm. are trying to eat healthy and be healthy, and, and they don't know quite how to go about that. Um, and they're looking for nagging, you know, they, they're trying to figure out what's causing these nagging problems. Uh, and the way I go about this is when they come in, I ask them, you know, how do you feel from 1 to 10? What's your stress level from 1 to 10? What do you want? Like, why did you really come here? And it's interesting because... People want health. They want joy. They want vitality. Um, and they, you know, in this world where burgers the king and dairy's the queen, it's kind of hard to, you know, find that because life is busy. So we grab foods from different places. So they're looking for answers to make their diet and their life and their stress, you know, better and minimize the stress. Obviously, so it's it's a really common common. I think most people are is tired and stressed. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, we live in a fast-paced world, so that would be yeah. um, a big thing that comes up. And in terms of um, training, what are some ways? Uh, let's say someone who has a sedentary job, they're they're you know at a desk um, at a nine to five, and they they want to do something, um, even sitting, to incorporate a little bit of exercise. What would you recommend to them? Well, first of all, they could get a standing desk. That's one option. Um, okay, there's, good idea. Yeah, yeah, and going to work, parking their car further away from the door at work, if it's possible to take the stairs, to try to get up every, you know, maybe put a little thing on your phone and you get up every 10 minutes just to walk. The body does not want to sit because there's a, a new thing. Sitting is the new smoking. It's very unhealthy for your body to be sitting that length of time. And don't forget, those people probably drove there too. So we want to be able to move the body as much as possible. Um, I remember hearing once you're supposed to move your body every eight minutes. Even if it's just stand up, sit down, go to the bathroom, get yourself in the habit of drinking lots of water where you have to physically get up and go. Um, But like all of us, sometimes we get stuck back there, you know, behind that desk and you can't can't get up. So I Mm -hmm. am a big advocate of exercise. I believe that we should be all walking at minimum 10,000 steps a day. And so even in the morning, if they could possibly go for a walk in the morning or a workout at nighttime, uh, anything that's going to, you know, get them up. But the standing desk are really, really becoming much more popular. Um, and I prefer to stand to, I don't have a standing desk because I'm up and down all the time. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, I think that if we could just be more conscious of getting up and moving more often and not sitting behind that computer for, you know, too long of a period of time. Okay, Excellent. All right, well, we've learned a great deal from you. And do you have anything that's coming up, any pro- any um, projects or any workshops that uh, we should know about? Um, well, I am going to be doing a, um, a health boot camp in September, and I will be putting mm-hmm. that posting on my website probably in July. So it's a, it's a full-day seminar. Um, and mm-hmm. it incorporates everything from, you know, that all I'm talking about. So it's, uh, it's a great workshop, and people walk away, and they also get a free book when they come to that too. 
Excellent, excellent. Now, what word of advice would you give to someone who is just, uh, they're on the verge of something, they're sitting on the fence, but they just can't overcome that fear. What, what advice would you give them to take that leap of faith um, about venturing on and, and following their passion work? What would you say to them in a few words? I'd say take the leap and the net will appear. Just what are you waiting for? <laughs> You know, you just go for it. I mean, there are there is no mistakes in life, just lessons. So just just do it. Don't let anybody sabotage your dreams. Because, you know, I mm. love one of my favorite authors is Robin Sharma. He says that everybody's here for a purpose. We all have a purpose. So, you know, mm-hmm. just go for it. Just exactly. just do it. Make a date and decide when you're going to do that. And that's what I did with my business. Once I took the course, I decided I was going to open up on January the 1st and even if I wasn't ready, I was going to do it, and I wasn't ready, but I still opened, and it worked. So, yeah, just uh, just do it. <laughs> just do it. I love it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Jane. It's, You're um, welcome. It's been a pleasure. Uh, you've, you've got a, a wealth of information that people really need to tap into. So tell us, yeah. where can people find you? They can get me uh, at my website, which is www.creativehealth.ca, and they can email me at jane at creativehealth.ca. And if they want to give me a phone call, they can call me anytime, 416-529-6326. Awesome. And we look forward to having you on the Nikki Clark Show stage. Awesome. Uh, I know people are just going to uh, gravitate to your um, your great energy. And by the way, I, I, I've seen a picture of you. I haven't met you face-to-face yet, but you look fantastic. Thank you. You look absolutely stunning. You don't look anywhere near your chronological years. So, well, um, you know, uh, you gotta you gotta give us some tips on what you do to keep. Well, going. Th- I will so, give you so lots of tips and, that day. <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome. Thank you okay. so much. It's You're been welcome. a pleasure, Jane. Um, we're we're um, looking forward to seeing you soon. And you've been listening to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on We Are Hotline. If you missed the earlier part of the interview, you don't have to worry. We're going to be replaying it throughout the week, Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. to noon. And uh, you are um, so blessed to uh, to you know tune in today and and hear this. Uh, fantastic um, information from uh, Jane, um, Jane Durst Polkis. I hope I got that correct. Yes, uh, and uh, yes. we'll be seeing her very, very soon. So, Jane, have a wonderful day, and we'll catch up soon. Thanks again. Okay, thanks a lot, Nikki. Take care. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye.